Hey Sagittarius, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cantonman's Tarot and welcome into your May 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope all is well. I just want to mention before we start, if you're interested in personal services, products, and so much more, feel free to check out my website, CantonMoonsTarot.com. It's going to be the first link in the description below. There's actually currently a sale going on for spring from now until the end of May. If you'd like to get yourself 20% uh, off of a 15-minute personal reading with me, feel free to use code POPPIN, that's going to be P-O-P-P-I-N, for 20% off at checkout. But without a further ado, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on here for you for your May 2023. What information is jumping on in here for Sag? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout May 2023. And let's go ahead and check it out. Starting out here with the overall energy, we have here the Four of Wands. Comfortable is what's showing up here for sure. You're comfortable, could be very comfy in a relationship, very comfy in your financial situation. Some of you might have started a business. Maybe you feel like you're starting to see that profit. So there's comfort in that, knowing that business is good, business is successful, which if so, congratulations, absolutely. Uh, but I'm definitely seeing this energy of comfort showing up here at this time. You might notice in May, you're going after a lot of comfort food, um, or you might be cooking more is what I'm seeing for some of you cooking, like really good recipes or like comfort food recipes you might be getting more into cooking for some reason that might be showing up here too uh, you might be exploring more it might be a new hobby at this time as well love that for you but regardless it is this energy of feeling relatively comfortable and um i'm hearing in the start of may but it doesn't mean it won't carry out throughout the rest there could be this comfortable energy all month long but so far so good i like it so far so good okay let's have a look here at your current situation we have here the three of swords the Wheel of Fortune, and the Fool card. So comfort after heartbreak, comfort after a really hard and difficult time. You're finally figuring out what you need to do in order to get to a place where you feel like you're doing okay, where you feel like you can let go. That's what I'm seeing showing up here most importantly. So Sagittarius, I definitely get like, you've went through a lot, you know, and jumping into May, it's like it's the first month in a while where it feels like, Things are different now. Like something's changed. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like a cycle has come to a close. I'm doing much better. I'm feeling much better. I feel like I can let go and I can find pleasure and enjoyment in other things in my life again. You know, when we go through really heavy periods of time, whether we're dealing with heartbreak or whether we're just dealing with life struggles overall, it can make everything feel not enjoyable, right? It can make everything feel dreadful, like going to work, dreadful. Hanging out with friends, not a fun time, I'd rather keep to myself. Cooking a meal might be the struggle. Making your bed could be the struggle, right? So when we're going through really difficult times, everything feels like a struggle. But when you can kind of find this comfort in life again and this enjoyment in other things again after going through a painful period, it's nice to start it's nice to start to finally feel like, okay, things are getting better, you know? So I see that as the overall energy and the current circumstance right here for now. All right, let's have a look here and see what you need to be aware about in the month of May. First card is going to be the death card. You know, change is coming in here for sure. Everything is different now after you went through with the three of swords, after you went through some sort of intense or painful situation. Things are definitely not the same. But I think that you're kind of accustoming and attuning yourself to the fact that change can be good. I kind of feel like maybe in the past you looked at change as a negative perspective, but jumping into May, it's like, you know what? Maybe change isn't so bad. Maybe change can be a good thing here. So I definitely feel like change is not necessarily what freaks you out anymore. Nine of Swords. Change is something here that you're starting to embrace going forward, okay? Okay. What else does Sag need to be aware about? We do have here the Temperance. Beautiful, which the Temperance here is your card. It is the Sagittarian Zodiac. So with the Temperance coming in here for you, it represents balance on an emotional scale. So feeling much more balanced, feeling more cool, calm, collected. Now we do have here a Two of Swords, and that Two of Swords is going to be followed up here with the Ten of Pentacles. I think you're stating here, it's like, listen, I know I'm far from perfect, but to know that I feel better and to know that things are getting better and to feel enjoyment in life again is a good start. And it's a good way to get close to the path of the 10 of Pentacles, right? It's like, I may not be perfect and everything may not be amazing, but it's a good start to start to get to that point, you know? So it's kind of like the beginning to moving into happier times and you feel it coming in here quite strongly. So that's definitely something to be aware about. I don't feel like the Ten of Pentacles is so far off. I think that really, really good times are coming quite shortly for you. And the fact that things are starting to feel better in this month alone is a really great sign to take. We also do have here the, uh, the Prince of Swords, otherwise known as the Page of Swords. And we also have here the Five of Wands. I think that 
when it comes to investing in negativity or when it comes to any sort of chaos or drama that's been floating around in your life, you've really been swinging the sword to that lately. I do get the feeling here that what you might need to be aware about is there still is chaos and drama maybe floating around your life, but I think that the more you disengage from that kind of energy or that kind of behavior from certain people, the way better off you're going to be here this month. So like I said, things are far from perfect, but things are feeling better. I will say though, one thing to be aware about, if there's a specific person, if there's a certain environment, if there's something you know stresses you out, stop engaging in it, disengage. If there's people you know that don't bring the best vibes, disengage from them as well. Because as you're on this journey of raising your vibration and feeling more positive and enjoying life again, the last thing you want to do is put yourself in an environment that's going to not raise your vibration, but start to make you feel the opposite. So you don't want to surround yourself with negative people or negative situations in general. So that's one thing to watch out for, because I feel like those situations still might be popping up in your life. They're not coming from you, though. They're external. So maybe this is a mom. Maybe your mom brings in a lot of negativity or somebody who's a big complainer or always has something negative to say. If there's people like that, I wouldn't associate this month. I would disengage. OK, while you're on your journey to feeling better. All right. Now, if there's one thing Sagittarius needs to know. What would be the most important thing that Sagittarius needs to know coming into uh, May 2023? What's one of the most important things that Sag needs to know coming into May 2023? We have here the star, beautiful, and we also have here the all gifted, absolutely. So let's talk about the star card here first. Star card is a card that represents that you are moving in a beautiful direction and you are moving to align to what is your highest good. So I want you to know and hopefully continue to take comfort, four of wands, in the fact that you are on the right path and you are moving to the direction of your highest good. So you're being aligned to where you need to go. Star card is also the card that represents healing, so healing has already begun for you in May. It's only going to keep coming in for you and it's going to come to you tenfold so expect not only things to change expect change to not only be a positive thing for you but also do expect a really great amount of healing to come in for you you're going to be feeling better and better as time keeps progressing which is really wonderful to see now, with the All Gifted coming out here for you, this is a card that I kind of look at that represents talents and represents your gifts. I do feel that for some Sagittarian, there is gifts that maybe you are not actually activating or gifts that you are not capitalizing on that could really give you a lot of success. I feel like if you're a Sagittarius, maybe you're really great at doing music, you're a great musician, but you've never really put it out there or you've never really tried to do anything with your musical talent, this might be the time to express yourself. You never know what kind of opportunities it can create. Maybe some of you are very, very highly intuitive and you've never really dove into your intuitive gifts. Maybe this will be the time to pick up a pack of tarot cards, read for some friends and family, see how you connect with it and connect with your gift overall. But whatever the case may be here, you have lots of gifts to show the world and I feel like maybe you're not expanding them or maybe you're not investing in them. And if you were to invest in them, just imagine the kind of success that it actually can really bring into your life. So I get that feeling here that if you have hidden talents or if you have anything that you know you're very good at, but you haven't invested the time into it, this might be the month to start investing time into something you know you're good at, okay? I think that the more you can train your skill set, the more you can train your gifts, the more opportunities you can create, not only in terms of abundance and wealth, but in terms of just fulfillment and happiness. You know, not everybody that's amazing at guitar wants to be a rock star, but maybe sometimes they just want to play the guitar to relieve their stress and enjoy a good time shredding. You know what I mean? Maybe not every person who's intuitive wants to actually become, you know, a, a reader in real life and, you know, do that as a business. Maybe they just want to do it to check in on their friends and family and be there to support people with advice. So at the end of the day, whether or not you are capitalizing this for wealth or doing it for just the joy of the soul, invest in something you have a lot of talent and your skill set in because I think that the more you can train that, the more it can relieve stress and the more that it can bring in success in whatever way or whatever direction you're looking for success in. Okay, so definitely a big important message here coming in for you. Is there any other big important message for Sag that they need to hear? Jumping into the month here of May. And we have here the chariot. Yeah, I think that this whole month is kind of just reinforcing that you're on the right path. Love that we got the star card for you. It means you're aligning to everywhere that you need to go or the right place. And it represents that you're healing. So if there's any big message I can give Sag this month, it's like you're on the right path. There is no need to worry at all. Like things are working out for you, whether you see it that way or not. OK, so everything is aligning to your highest good. Beautiful, guys. Very cool. All right, Sag, let's have a look here and see what you can expect throughout the rest of your May 2023. So what can Sagittarians expect throughout the rest of their month of May? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
first card out we have here the five of swords next card out we have here the prince of pentacles and then taking a look here at two more cards we have here the prince of cups and the magician i do want to say it's interesting because as you are enjoying yourself and as things are getting better, it kind of just feels like there's this negative gravitational pull of people who are trying to like bring you into this negative energy. So people can see your light and they want you to come to the dark. Okay. It's like come to the dark side. We have cookies, you know, it's that kind of energy here, Sagittarius, but don't go to the dark side for cookies, go to the light side and get the light side and get yourself some tiramisu. Okay. <laughs> At the end of the day, random ass example, but I think you guys get the gist. It's like people kind of want to bring you down when they see your light this month. And I think from your perspective here, Prince of Pentacles, you're holding down the fort. You're making sure you're being wise with your energetic investments. Page of Cups, I'm only going to give my energy to what gives me a positive return. And I love that you're holding down the fort and you're not subduing to negative people and their negative energy. Because I saw that previously here, right? Page of Swords, Five of Wands. I did mention there's still going to be chaos that's surrounding you. But this month, you want to take your attention away from those environments and make sure you keep on working on you. So really don't be afraid to tell people no if people have something they want you to do that you don't agree with definitely don't be afraid this month to isolate from people if you feel like all they're bringing in are bad vibes or if all they're bringing in is this negativity and they want to take you there as well remember misery loves company don't be the company to that misery if there are miserable people in your environment okay now magician showing up here the magician card here is the card that represents manifestation and it also represents the energy of showing up you get to choose every day what kind of energy you want to show up in positive or negative neutral whatever energy you want to show up in, you have the choice to do that you also get to choose where you show up in life who you decide to surround yourself with so keep remembering your power of choice is something i feel that's very important to say jumping into may 2023 keep remembering your power of choice because you have a choice every day of how you're going to show up in life who you're going to show up surrounding with and what you're going to do right so always keep that in mind but yeah i do get that feeling here five of swords where lower vibrational environments may try to drag you down there with them why the five of swords though we got here the devil yeah these are people who are unhappy queen of swords and maybe these are individuals that can see that maybe things are going better for you and like i said misery loves company people don't want to see other people happy when they're miserable because what they want is other people to feel the same experience they're currently going through so watch out for that okay now i do want to mention sagittarius i know it hasn't shown up in this reading but i do a pre-shuffle sometimes before i get on into the reading for whatever zodiac i'm reading for and something very specific that came up previously was the energy of codependence meaning that you you were a provider for someone and they were a taker and i get the feeling here that if anybody has negativity it might be the person that you've decided to detach from that was codependent and reliant on you so if you have recently gotten out of some kind of codependent connection whether it was codependency to a romantic partner to a family member or codependency in friendships i definitely once again feel like you were the provider like you would give this person what they were dependent on you for but at the same time they wouldn't provide much back to you so it was really one-sided you were a giver they were a taker i think the taker here is the one that's upset because they're not getting what they want from you anymore so if there's any kind of negativity that's been getting directed towards you it could very well likely be coming from the person who is dependent and reliant on you now i do want to say here if that's the case of course they need to learn to be independent don't take whatever it is they're throwing at you for face value at the end of the day you know, isolate yourself from that kind of energy. Don't let it get to you. You know, this is somebody who has to find that independence from within. Okay. So I just wanted to mention that because I did see codependent energy show up in your pre-shuffle. Now, queen of pentacles here, three of pentacles. Yeah. Once again, universe here reinforcing, this is the time to work on yourself, what you desire, what you want to put your time into. You know, this is about taking care of you and filling up your cup first, not the cup of others. Okay. All right, though, Saggy. Moving on forward, is there any advice coming in here from the universe for Sagittarius regarding mid-May, or sorry, regarding May overall, 2023? Is there any advice coming in from the universe for Sagittarius regarding May 2023? We have here the Judgment. We also have here the Ace of Cups. And we have here the dun 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 Eight of Wands. Shoot for the Stars. Eight of Wands is a card that represents shooting for the stars, and as you can see with the judgment in the background, we actually have all these people who are standing and reaching out for the stars as well. So I get the feeling of shooting for the stars is important right now. Ace of Cups, your energy and your fulfillment is important. 
shoot for the stars to get to a happy place. You're already on route to a happy place, right? I think the whole beginning of the reading was talking about how you went through something really rough, but guess what? This month starts to feel like things are back on track again, you know? You start to feel like you're enjoying life, you start to enjoy things again, where maybe not a lot of joy was coming in for anything you were doing previously. And even though you know that everything's far from perfect, like, it feels like things are getting better. Keep shooting for the stars and keep shooting and focusing on your own happiness because you deserve it at the end of the day and hard work truly pays off. All right. So I feel like that's what the universe has in store for you in terms of advice and moving along here into the final card, which is going to be the overall outcome. Let's have a look here and see what's going to be the overall outcome here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout May 2023. And what do we got? We got here the Seven of Cups, and that Seven of Cups is going to be followed up here with the Judgment, or sorry, the Justice. Love it. Yeah, you're moving into a balanced space. Previously, Seven of Cups, you were very overwhelmed. You were dealing with a lot. Life gave you a lot on your plate, you know, and it was kind of hard <laughs> to deal and manage with everything that life was throwing at you. But now, times are becoming more simplistic. Justice card. You, you feel like you can balance everything. There isn't too much on your plate. Everything is pretty comfortable. Everything is pretty stable, right? I mentioned in the beginning, Four of Wands is the card of comfortability, but at the same time, it's also a card here that represents that you're in a space of stability. So things are much more simpler. Simpler times are ahead, and I love it for you. You can manage everything because things are easily able to be managed because you're not overwhelmed. So not too much on your plate anymore here with the justice. You can easily manage what's going on in your life. You feel much more balanced, much more cool, calm, and collected, and so much more comfortable. Okay, beautiful guys, Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching your May 2023 tarot reading. I do hope you enjoyed your video here today. Of course, if it resonates, do let me know down in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for coming out here nonetheless. I do want to mention to everybody, if you're new here and you're interested in the channel, definitely consider subscribing and be more than happy to welcome you here into the Soul Family. But thank you everybody nonetheless for coming out here. I do want to say, if you're interested in the spring sale for getting a 15-minute personal reading with me, once again, feel free to use code POPPIN, P-O-P-P-I-N, for 20% off at checkout. But I love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your May, and I will see you all in the next video. Much love, and have yourselves a good one. Peace.